So to engage with the next generation of investors, I think it's really important that you actually talk to, uh, to that generation today. Uh, we've run a number of sounding boards with those clients to understand what, what do they actually want? How does it differ from the previous generation? Uh, we also work with the current generation and talk in the round about wealth. Often it's a difficult conversation. So to actually sit down and talk perhaps about the family business and what the intent is as a family and what the plan is for that wealth management is really essential. And the final thing I would add is it's really important that your workforce <laughs> reflects and your recruitment reflects uh, the generation you're going to serve coming forward. So have you got programs that are bringing in, for example, apprentices, or are you just taking people from elsewhere in the industry? Try and grow the next generation of talent. So in a market that's becoming increasingly competitive and arguably commoditized, the best way to differentiate is through service and trust. And you can't build trust just with a mobile phone, you build trust with people. So again, have you got the right people? Have you got the right products? Can you deliver on what you say you're going to do? Um, and I think increasingly in this industry, the service will be about collaboration. So whether you start the dialogue on a mobile phone or um, through the telephone and then complete it to an advisor, or whether you do it all on the phone yourself, I don't think it matters, but you'll have to be able to be supported in each element. And at the end of the day, people always want to be able to talk to somebody if they're not quite sure. In our industry, which is predominantly about people, uh, the way we need to embrace technology is to see it as something to support those dialogues. Um, so rather than saying it's digital only, that never ring us up, you'd expect to put digital in, and as clients use the digital service, brilliant. But if they get halfway through and get stuck, you'd expect them to ring um, and, and get advice. Equally, the role of technology in um, accelerating the productivity of the banker or the advisor. How much are we using technology to help that banker make insightful um, challenges to the client um, and next best actions in terms of what they ought to do? Um, so that bankers aren't doing lots of paper-based research themselves, the system helps them with that. So I think the biggest challenge over the next five years, people will expect to be able to aggregate their information, take services from others that will look at that information and provide them advice independently, and I would expect them therefore to be more informed when they sit down to their advisor. Equally as advisors, we should be able to use that technology to aggregate uh, and provide an overall advice picture. But it will challenge uh, people, it will challenge margins, and it will challenge transparency. I think both of those are great for the consumer at the end of the day.